Are you looking for a fabric dresser? I think I got the perfect one for you. Let's talk about it. What's up, buds? Welcome to Wanna Buy It. I'm your host, Rodney, and as always, we've got another product to review. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, with all these products, the link will be down in the description below so you guys can click that, see the current price, and see other people's reviews on it. So let's talk about this product right here. Hey, buds, I forgot to tell you guys that it comes with two tools. You don't need nothing else. Um, Cause you'll get this one right here, but it also has a screwdriver on it. So. You just need these, it comes with these two tools. You won't need no other ones. All right, buds, we got the Row Moon Fabric Dresser or Ramoon or Room. I don't know, but you guys know what I'm talking about if you click this video. But anyway, we got a fabric dresser here, buds. And um, it was pretty easy to install. It wasn't too hard at all. I say it took me about an hour. Um, I'm gonna put the clips in right here of me and like hooking it up, installing it. It came in a few pieces. It comes with uh, two racks. Then you got your bottom rack. So you do the two side racks connected to your bottom rack. And then you add these little parts that are just um, push in and clamp in. Uh, no screws needed for those ones. Um, and then you add your, your top wood panel, which you screw that in. Uh, I find it's easier to do it upside down, but and then line up your rack with it like that. Line the hose up, knock that in there and then flip it around, continue. And then after that, you just add your back braces and then I believe that was it for the stand. And then after that, you, you know, you get your fabric. Of course you put the piece in there, you put the piece in there, lock it in and then you screw on the handle and that was pretty much it. And then you just slide it in there after that. So it was easy to install. Like I said, it probably it took like 40 minutes to an hour. Um, I forgot to set a timer to when I made it. So the material is pretty nice. Um, it is like a little cheaper, like metal. Uh, the fabric's pretty thick and um, feels really good and sturdy. It's not low, it's not a flimsy uh, fabric. Um, and then the um, handles are like a, I'll say really thin wood. Um, they, they probably feel the cheapest out of everything on here is the uh, handles for sure. Uh, you know, it's just a regular top wood part at the top. But all in all, it has a little weight to it. Once you start pinning it together, buds, the, the weight kicks in for sure. You can feel the weight. Cause at first I was like, oh, this thing is about to be real flimsy and cheap, but it gets pretty heavy once it's all together, which is surprising cause the metal doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, and there's not that many parts for it. And of course the fabric, that's how good the fabric is. It adds so much weight to this to this little metal rig so that's for sure um another thing i've noticed when i was pinning together uh of course with all fabric like dressers and stuff that you know the they don't perfectly line up but the, i i know you guys know that's like with all of them so you gotta like juggle some of them the bottom one's really tricky the bottom one sometimes will like line up ugly how you see how it's sticking out there i wonder if you guys can see it um so you gotta just make sure you get it right here on this back lip if you guys get it back there, it'll slide in really nice because I was fiddling with it for a bit and I realized that that's what it is. See, now it's in there pretty good. Um, yeah, so you gotta just make sure you get it on the back lip, but they, they line up, uh, well, they're pretty lined up now, but yeah, so they line up pretty good, I guess. Um, it just, you know, the fabric, the, the gaps make it look like it's not um, perfect. But it's pretty good, you know, it feels good. And I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be really cheap. So right now it's going for like uh, 56 bucks or something like that, 55, 56 in that range. Um, I haven't seen a Lightning Dale or a coupon for it. So that's the price you're looking for for this. Um, oh yeah, this thing has a little bit of weight on it. It's not crazy, it's not too heavy, um, but it has a little bit of weight on it. It feels really sturdy um, for a fabric dresser. I'll give it that. Uh, you get the nice little wood here. I thought this was gonna be fabric on the top too. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be like a little fabric thing, um, but nah, you got the wood up here on the top and then you got the nice little uh, dressers. All right, but so um, the drawer, the fabric drawer is a little bit deeper than I thought it would be. Uh, I thought for sure it was gonna be like half this size, but I don't know if you guys could really see in there. It's pretty deep. 
uh, I got a Febreze bottle because everyone knows the size of a Febreze bottle. So if you put it in there, you guys can see that it's almost to just the knob handle part. I don't know if there's a way I can show you guys in there. So yeah, it's pretty big if I stand it tall wise. Oh, don't fall. So you still got like all this extra, you know, gap right here as well. Another what, like almost a hand, uh, hand length right there as well. So it's pretty big. Um, I, I, I was shocked. I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller, especially when you open it up and you start pulling the pieces out, you're like, this thing's about to be small, but it's not that small, but it's not too, too small. All right, buds, I got my shirts right here. I'm gonna add it to one of these uh, dressers and see um, how it maneuvers with uh, the weight in there, slide in and out. Um, so let's, let's fill her on up. All right, we got our shirts in here. Let me keep this even. All right, we got our shirts in here, buds. All right, let's see how it feels. No problem. Slide smooth. Slide smooth, let's see if let, let it hang. Shake it. It's still holding on. There we go. So it took a little bit of force to get it to finally tip out. But if you're just gonna like grab a shirt, I think you have no problem. But it kind of, it kind of also feels like it was about to give. Let's see. I think, it, yeah, I guess this is fine right here. Throw the shirt in there. And it's still holding up. So you're not gonna go crazy like I'm doing right now. You're just gonna grab a shirt flick through the shirts like this and then, you know. So uh, that's about your leeway that you will get to pull this out before it won't, it will give. As you can see right here, it's catching on to this bar. So once you pull out a little bit more that this is gonna fall. So that's pretty, it's out pretty far already. So it's pretty good. I'm surprised the fabric is not giving and just falling because it is out there pretty far. Like, like the whole thing is out there. So yeah, it hangs pretty good. It has the weight in there because these shirts are pretty, pretty heavy and uh, it's not too bad. All right, but so that's it. Um, I needed a new uh, dresser, but I didn't want to get a wood one. I want to get something that'll be easy to move um, later in the future. And this one's pretty good. It's uh, not too heavy, especially once you take the fabrics out and it'll be really light. It's light now, but you know what I mean? Um, but I needed a new one for the room to add more space. And if I didn't like it when I was, I was gonna give it away, but I do like this so far. Um, this was my first test with the shirts and I'm glad it works good. So I don't have to worry about that. So that's a big plus for me. And then, um, oh no, it looks good. It doesn't look ugly like I thought it would. I thought it was gonna look really cheap and you guys can see in the video, like it doesn't look too bad. The back, like it looks pretty good. So, whoa. All right, but so that's the end of the video. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel. And to all my subscribers now, thank you so much. You are helping my channel grow and I really do appreciate it. And as always, buds, if there's a product I like, I'm definitely going to tell you guys about it so you won't miss out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.